Uh, J. Ashry Farms. If you're new to my channel, uh, please hit the uh, like and subscribe button and also uh, a comment. I would uh, sure like to like your opinion on some things and uh, you know just say hi or to what's going on. Uh, today in this episode we're going to be uh, sharing with you our experience changing out the tongue on this uh, Sunflower 9433-40 uh, grain drill. Uh, this this drill if you know anything about them they're uh, two point uh, hook up onto a, a quick hitch or a uh, the three point on the back of a, a tractor as you can see here uh, they hook back onto the back of that tractor and we want to pull this with our big versatile uh, bareback tractor so we're we need to make it tongue pull you might think well you just go to Sunflower and uh, you know, you buy the uh, the big expensive tongue and all that. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to take a hydraulic tongue off of an old 3400 Crustbuster trash shank drill. Uh, one that I I use for parts and this and that. I used to pull it years ago at Milo. But anyway, we're going to be taking that hydraulic hitch off. And we're going to be mounting it with a uh, adapter that I build uh, on the front of this drill. So... Uh, and I can always change it back. I don't cut and drill or weld onto to my equipment. Uh, just bolt on, bolt off, and I can always go back to two point if I want to. But uh, that way we can uh, we can put some more seed in the ground. We're using our big versatile drill. another beautiful beautiful day uh, it's about six a little after six day two of the uh, hitch conversion um, we've got a lot to do it's been real hot I hadn't been able to work much uh, during the heat of the day and so we've been and uh, hadn't had no moisture to plant anyway so we're kind of kind of been taking it a little easy during the heat of the day and trying to trying to catch up on some paperwork and correspondence this and that and so we're uh, we're slow to getting there on today's agenda we're going to be as you see we got these plates here bolted on one inch thick by eight we're going to be tapering these down so we can make a good bead weld on those we're going to be making a paper pattern of this I'm going to cut out a plate out of that steel on the back of my pickup right here I'm going to be making a cutting out a plate right here so we can and cut all the holes so we can bolt it up to that 
and we can weld it on to the hitch and then we're gonna have to have to gusset we're gonna put in some uh, pieces of steel right along the sides here after we weld that plate on we're gonna be welding in some pieces of iron here to gusset and help uh, support the pull and the twist of this uh, this bracket here so I might do some uh, time lapse again today and uh, kind of show you this next step we're gonna do I actually had all the hoses and fittings. Didn't have to uh, go to town to get any more. But some of them are a little longer than others. As you can see here, I got them all separated out. That's the hitch hydraulic. And this is the drill up and fold. They're way long. Those might be just about right or a little short, but I think they're going to be fine. That was the old hoses off of the off of the drill hitch, so I know they work as far as the length. So I might go ahead and change out that tongue, but I'm going to have to lift it up before I do because I've got to. I can't get the hammer in there to to hit this this set pin out. To knock that off so I may change it with that other drill make it the the one blade type instead of the, the clevis so but there it is we'll see if it breaks I guess time will tell
a little trouble taking the the, uh, the clevis hitch off uh, but I hate those clevis hitches anyway we are uh, moving this tractor off and filling up the versatile full of fuel then we're going to hook up to the versatile for the first time ever and fold up and get ready for tomorrow big day tomorrow we're going to spray in the morning and then we're going to turn around and, and start drilling on that uh, that field I was disking the other day so stay tuned for that <laughs> Hey y'all, if y'all are new to my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Drop me a comment, ask me a question, anything. I'll, I'll try to answer it as best as I can. And uh, while you're while you're there subscribing, hit that little uh, gray bell there on the end there. and That way you'll get notified of all my uh, new uploads. We upload uh, twice a week, usually on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And uh, I try to make it interesting as I can. And uh, about my farming way of way of life here in eastern Mexico and uh, all of our drought situations and our you know our family fun times but if you would uh, uh, subscribe like and share and uh, hey follow me on Instagram uh, at uh, I think it's just my name uh, snapchat at uh, jelly 4510 and on uh, Facebook as uh, JS3 Enterprises so Please give me a follow and an add, and I appreciate y'all coming.